A video of some young men in Edo State assaulting an elder of the People's Democratic Party PDP is said to have unsettled the party and the government of the state. Hello, my amazing family. Think big, believe big, act big, and the results will be big. Have a blessed and favored week. Please don't forget to give us a like or thumbs up if this is the first time. Thank you. The video, which has gone rife after it was posted on the social media platform Facebook, saw the men film themselves as the assaulted the elderly man who is the local leader of the People's Democratic Party PDP in the state. My Nigeria gathered that the incident which happened in November without a known date was perpetuated by the five young men who are members of the party in the state. They took on the elderly man alongside three other men because of a power struggle at the local level between two factions of the party, Premium Times Land. Video it now, one of the assailants is heard screaming in the clip as the elderly man is brought out from a house dragged on and beaten with sticks and a machete. In the video, the young man forced the old man to pull off his dress while they threw him on the ground near a third road. Premium Tan said the victim did not put up any resistance. He only cried out as a breath in pain. I am on the media. Direct one of the assailants is Ed saying apparently informing the others that he was filming the scene and perhaps uploading it on social media. It's wicked and shameful, the chairman of PDP in Edo, Tony Aziagbemi, in a statement on Sunday, identified the assorted man as Samuel Dania, the vice chairman of the PDP in World 8, a Edo local government area of the state. Mr. Aziegbemi condemned the assault, which he said was unwarranted and unacceptable. He urged the security agencies in the state to arrest and prosecute the assailants. Edo PDP is known as a peaceful, united, and vibrant political party where dialogue is our wash word. No political party, especially PDP, will be at ease seen the said video it pricks at the sensibility of all of us and we must all condemn it we are pdp this does not depict our pdp he said dan arby the pdp national vice chairman south south described the incident as wicked and shameful he said the assailants were politically patronized youth and called on the security agencies in the state to fish them out and punish them to serve as a deterrent to others. The Edo state government condemned the assault and vowed to prosecute those who did it. With its compromising commitment to maintaining law and order, the government frowns at all forms of violence and is particularly appalled with the content of the video.
government has ordered security agencies in the state to thoroughly investigate the incident to ensure that any one found culpable is made to face the full weight of extant laws in the state, particularly the violence against persons law. Osiagbavo Iyoha, the chief of staff to Governor Godwin Obaseki, said in a statement on Saturday. But please don't forget to give us a like or a thumbs up, especially if this is the first time here. Thank you. In another related news, we were told they took on the elderly man alongside three other men because of a power struggle at the local level between two factions of the party. We all know that Edo State is ruled by the PDP. The governor, Godwin Obaseki, was first elected under the platform of the All Progressive Congress, APC, before it deflected to the PDP after a prolonged political battle with his erstwhile godfather and predecessor, Adams Oshamale, who was the national chairman of the APC. There had been some internal wrangling within the PDP at the state level recently. It is, however, unclear if there was any link between this and the assault incident. Recall that yesterday, the National Vice Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, South South, Dan Arby, on Sunday, condemned the attack on party members in Igbeshi, a Kukuegdo local government area of Edo State. The PDP shifting was trending video on social media showing the attack on the party supporters by some youth loyal to opposition politicians in the state. Obi demanded a thorough investigation into the incident with a view to bringing those behind the attack to justice. The statement read, My attention has been drawn to a social media video of a wicked and shameful attack by some politically patronized youth who unleashed unwarranted terror on unsuspecting party leaders and members in Ekpeshi, a Kokoedo local government, brandishing machetes and other dangerous weapons. I condemn this barbaric savagery in very strong terms, and I urge the security agents to thoroughly investigate the criminal acts, feature the perpetrators as well as those who might have remotely or closely aided the actions and make them face the full consequences of their debashing actions. This will act as a deterrent for others who wish to take claws into their hands. Members of PDP in a Kokoedo local government area should remain calm and go about the, their robust political engagements as no stone will be left unturned to apprehend the perpetrators and to face the full wrath of the law. There will, there will be no need of saying anything. Their lives is finished already. Beating an old man like this is an evidence of short life already. The commissioner also urged their party members to continue to engage in peaceful and constructive political activities in line with our party's constitution. All these, our youth, can never get sense. Now one or Gago Sidani has now, go don't send them to carry out this wicked plan. Then go they act like say, now remote control, then they use to operate them to do their dirty job. Such a low life scam. I pray the day they will finally have sense. But please don't forget to give us a like and please hit on the notification button for more authentic news. I'm your number one news blog. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.